ഹലോ ഹോപ്പ് യു ഓൾ ആർ ഫൈൻ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് ഓഫ് ഫിഫ്ത്ത് മൊഡ്യൂൾ ഓഫ് ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ സിസ്റ്റം ഇ ഇ ഫോർ നയൻ ഫോർ ഇൻ ദിസ് സെഷൻ ലെറ്റ് സി ദ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് കാലിബറേഷൻ ഓഫ് ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ മെഷർമെൻറ്റ് temperature is fundamentally different in nature from other quantities like length time etc suppose if we are taking the case of length if two bodies of same length are combined the total length will be twice that of original but in the case of temperature the combination of two bodies of same temperature gives the same temperature that is the idea of a standard unit of temperature is very much different from other quantities like length time etc according to statistical mechanics temperature is related to mean kinetic energies of molecules which is not measurable hence independent temperature standard is required before going into details of thermal measurement let's go through some terms related with it first one thermal equilibrium two bodies are said to be in thermal equilibrium if they possess the same temperature look at the figure here one material is in 0 degree celsius and other is in 100 degree celsius if these two materials are made to close each other heat transfer will be occurred and both the materials will possess equal temperature that means 50 degree celsius next one zero to law of thermodynamics zero to law of thermodynamics states that when two bodies are in equilibrium with a third body they are in thermal equilibrium with each other that means if a and b possess the same temperature and b and c have all uh, the same temperature then a and c will possess the same temperature to define the standard temperature scale we may use the change in any of the physical properties of material with that of temperature for example we can consider the change in length of a material or metal by increasing or decreasing the temperature we can also calculate by measuring other changes here we are considering the change in length similarly we can consider another changes related to the change in temperature the thermodynamic temperature scale gives the theoretical base for a temperature scale based on ideal carnot cycle consider a perfectly reversible heat engine transfers heat from a reservoir of infinite capacity at a temperature t2 to another such reservoir to a temperature t1 similarly if the heat taken from the reservoir reservoir 2 is q2 and that of reservoir 1 is q1 then according to carnot cycle the ratio of heat change 
will be equal to that of temperature that means q2 by q1 equal to t2 by t1 if a number is selected to describe the temperature of a fixed point then the temperature scale is completely defined mainly the fixed point is taken as the triple point of water what do you mean by triple point of water triple point is the state at which solid liquid and vapor phases are in equilibrium but this kelvin absolute thermodynamic scale is ideal because it is independent of any material properties moreover it is not physically realizable since it depends on an ideal carnot cycle a temperature scale defined by a constant volume or constant pressure gas thermometer using an ideal gas is identical to the thermodynamic scale a constant volume gas thermometer keeps a fixed mass of gas at a constant volume and measures the pressure changes due to temperature changes the perfect gas law shows that temperature ratios are identical to pressure ratios that is at a constant volume condition we get the deviation of temperature if we know the corresponding deviation in pressure but ideal gas is just a mathematical model it is not a real substance so this type of thermometer cannot be used in practice to obtain a physically realizable temperature scale real gases must be used in gas thermometers the readings must be corrected as well as possible for deviation from ideal gas behavior and then the resulting values are accepted as a definition of temperature scale now we can see that how it is possible to obtain a physically realizable temperature scale here a thermometer is filled with a certain mass of gas in order to make the volume to a desired value of mercury is adding through this opening this arrangement is used at both ice point temperature and steam point temperature ice point temperature means 0 degree celsius and uh, obviously steam point temperature means 100 degree celsius let the gas pressure be at ice point temperature pi1 and that of steam point temperature is ps1 ps1 is greater than pi1 as we are increasing the temperature if we repeat the same experiment for another mass of gas we will get pi2 and ps2 for an ideal gas we have ps1 by pi1 equal to ps2 by pi2 but with the above method we get ps1 by pi1 not equal to ps2 by pi2 real gases shows ideal gas behavior at zero pressure condition and the zero pressure point is obtained by extrapolating the curve this zero pressure point has a relevance that it is taken as the true value of the pressure ratio corresponding to steam point temperature divided by ice point temperature ratio if this experiment is repeated with the different gases see the picture the different gases are represented as b and c all the curves intersect at the same point which means the procedure is independent of the type of gas used this is very important 
Now let's see the drawbacks of gas thermometer temperature scale. First one is these procedures is somewhat time consuming. Hence it cannot be used for day to day use. Secondly, its precision and repeatability is very much lower and this led to the wide acceptance of International Practical Temperature Scale or IPTS. International Practical Temperature Scale or IPTS. It is set up to confirm as closely as practical with the thermodynamic scale. By definition, both thermodynamic scale and international practical temperature scale are in exact agreement at a triple point of water. We have gone through the term triple point of water. That means all the three phases are in equilibrium. Next, this international practical temperature scale is revised in the years 1948, 1954, 1960, 1968 and 1990. Now we are using the version of 1990. So let's conclude our first class. Thank you. These are the references. If you are interested, please go through this. And uh, the diagrams which we are used here in this class are mainly from various sites and various google books and just strictly for educational purposes